In this episode, we're going to learn how to properly open and close our modal, controlling all of that from our parent component. Right now, it's all being controlled within the modal component itself, which makes it a little bit complicated to control. So instead, we're going to create state in the parent and pass the value down to the child. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to automatically update our list of customers whenever we add a new customer and it's been inserted into the database. We confirmed that the back end was working in the previous video. Now we just need to do that front end polish to make the experience good. And that way we don't require a refresh to see that new data. So let's jump in. There's probably a lot of different ways you could do this. I'll show you what I thought of. So if you want to give it a shot yourself, feel free to pause the video now and go for it. All right, and we are back. Like I assumed, you probably didn't get it figured out. So you can follow along and we'll see what we can do. So right now we are in the add customer component. This is the modal and all the ability to show and hide the component are within this component here. So we start with showing it set to false and this handle show will set show to true and this handle close will set show to false. And you can see that sprinkled throughout this code, especially also at the bottom with the close buttons. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to define this show state in the parent in the customer here. So let's go ahead and create some state. This is going to be called show and set show. And we can pass this to the child component. So down here where we have a add customer component, we could say show and pass in the show state. Now inside of add customer, we could read that value if we wanted. So for example, inside a set show, we could read this from props.show. And let's say in theory, just to test this out, we had this value set to true. So we defaulted to true. In this situation, it should be open by default. So visiting the web page and you can see it's open and on refresh, it opens automatically. So that's how we can have the thing be open by default if we wanted, but that's a little strange. I'm not going to actually default it to true. So we'll just default it to false. Just wanted to confirm that it was working. We want the ability to close the component from the parent because what we want to do is we want to have inside of this then hide the modal. So let's head into the add customer modal and let's change these references so that show is now pointing to the state props.show. This will tie whether the modal is displayed to the props value, but currently the different buttons we have are changing the internal state. So it's going to be a little bit wonky and not work the way we would expect. So what I'll do for now is for on click, we will read a function from the parent props toggle show and let's define that inside of the parent. So we'll scroll up here and I'm going to do this right after the state definition. So we'll say function toggle show and whatever the value of show is, we are going to invert it. So we will say set show and then we can pass in the opposite of whatever show is. And now let's pass that in as a prop as well. So toggle show is toggle show. And now this button should invoke toggle show and that changes the state of show, which the modal is tied to. So we should in theory still be able to open the modal. So we click the button and it pops up, but now that functionality is not defined in this child component. Rather it's in the parent component where we list all the customers. We can do something very similar for these other buttons. So down here on the footer to close out of it with the close button, we will invoke toggle show. Again, this comes from props, my bad. So props.toggle show. And the submit button, well, this one's gonna be a little bit different because we don't want to close out of it as soon as you hit the add button. We only wanna close out of it if the ad was successful. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this on click altogether. So right now, here's how it works. Let's do a quick refresh. We click add, closing out of it, closes it. We hit add, 
add does nothing. We are still getting a network request when we hit add and that works similarly how we passed in this new customer function to the component and that fetches to find here. So all we really need to do to hide the modal is to invoke toggle show and that should close the modal. So we hit add now. It's not working still because we haven't actually put in any data. So what we need to do is go through a test, the industries test. Now we hit add, the modal goes away and you'll have to do a refresh to have that show up on the page. I was testing it earlier, so that's what this is. We should be able to delete and take a look at that. So that is how you control the display of a modal from the parent state. Up next, we just want to have it so that when we do add a customer, it automatically updates this list instead of requiring a page refresh. If you remember from a while ago, we did something pretty similar inside of the employees, if you've been following along. If not, that's okay, we're going to go through it again for the customers, but here is a new employee function. It creates a new employee object and then adds it to the employees list and it does it through set employees which is why we have that kind of funky syntax you can't just push it onto the employees array let's see if we can do something similar with the customers right now we have assumed the ad was successful because we made it to this then block we've hid the modal now we just have to make sure the list is updated appropriately lucky for us if we console log data and take a look let's go ahead and add a customer test to and test when we hit add the data we get back is a customer and it has ID, name, and industry. So all we need to do is we need to jump into this customer property, which will give us that object we can use in a very similar way to how we have it defined in employees where we created this object. We don't even have to do that part. So we pretty much just have to do this line here. So we will say set customers and we're going to pass in a new array taking all the existing customers, but also an additional customer, which is going to be data.customer. Data.customer is how we jump into this object versus the object including the customer property. So basically right now, if you grab an individual customer, this is the structure you would get. You don't want to pass in this whole object, you just want this object here. All right, so let's try this out, make sure it works. We will go back to our page. We will add a customer, test three, testing, add, and it automatically shows up on the page. So far, I'm liking this functionality. It works well, it looks nice, and you can go into any of these and easily delete them. So we can easily work with our database quite nice. So far so good. We can now delete a customer. We just need to build one more thing and that is the ability to edit a customer. So let's take a look at the backend code to see how much coverage we have of the different API endpoints. Within the customers, we have the ability to get all of the customers. We have the ability to post a new customer. We have the ability to get an individual customer right here and we have the ability to delete an individual customer. Now we just need the ability to update a customer. So that is where we are going to pick up in the next episode. This one's hopefully going to be pretty cool. Stay tuned, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you then.